wrapped up. I love the boxes. This, they have to be my favorite. That's not anything. <laughs> no. <Okay. laughs> She's like, mm, girl, put it down. <laughs> I wish that was complete. I know, isn't that cute? It's even got salt with it. Um, <laughs> look, it's even got salt. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that? Do you think it's oh, cool. Modern? I think so it's probably some of these a oh Ainsley. Look at that. How cool would that have been? That would be so cool. Is that a tea light thing? Yeah, it's not cute. But it would have been cool. Oh girl, yes. I think that most of the that since don't have a mark and then when you because of their unique like shape of them, mm. it can come up on the Google images. Yeah. But I've, it's only happened once <laughs> with a bullet. <laughs> <She's laughs> <only happened once. laughs> Oh my god. I, know, I saw some pretty ones here, but there's not yeah. sun. Yeah, they're, they're not, they're they're not, they don't tell me who they are. They're like vintage in that, but they're not um, antique. Well, they're not they're that like, old. Do you know what? You're really looking at their artwork. These right. are Japanese as well. Okay. They're not like, like some of the really old stuff is messy. But some of it's actually like really more, fine detail. Yeah, and that should be better for the collector. Anyway. Um, it still might be worth something. Right, well, of it's course. Not. Do you know what I mean? You don't. I think everything's worth something to someone. Yeah, do you know what I mean? But, um, These are pretty. They have it's not something, and it's like that, I just don't know if I would take a chance on it. Yeah, Oh, you can't. Oh, I know. That's the thing. It's like this is pretty. It's a this little yeah, other pants more than it. Oh. oh no! It feels like it's so loud. Yeah. Because you know, obviously. And then on the camera as well. Oh, like, really? Ah. Picks up the noise. People are like, why are you slamming that door? I said, I'm not. Clark, Clark. This is Dolores. Hi, Hello. nice to meet you. Oh, there you are. Texas Yeah, well, I'm, I live in Chesterfield, but I'm from Texas. <laughs> Very exotic. It is, it is. I'm into Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, she's from Texas? <laughs> Last year, we're like, yeah, I think we'll wait. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well. I want to really, really go. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go to Canada. Oh, yeah, so I'd love to go to Canada. Oh. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's parts of the states I'd like to go to. I mean, like I want, like New England. I would. I've been there. Just um, walk. Just hiking in Oregon, and it's like, it's like on a cliff face. There's waterfalls. Yeah. Coming. Yeah. I mean, some of the places you're like. I'm not so keen in the desert areas. Oh no, 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 thank you. You can keep your heat. No, yeah. no. No, look at that. Oh my lord, that's a trivet. That's yeah, a it's trivet. Yeah. I love that. Isn't that cool? Okay, my. That's really good. And once it's cleaned up. Yeah. Have you found the Japanese, the lithopane ones? Were you looking at? Oh, yeah, in front of the girl. The yeah. Briefs. I found um, a set. I, I sold right away, girl. Just in case. <laughs> See, that's perfect for autumn. Because I'm kind of like looking for autumn Do stuff. You want autumn things? Yeah. Missy? Well, you can't do it because it's in that thing. So. 
Yeah, I'll take it. And put it. Yeah, in the box. Do you know what I really want? If you ever find it, one of those glass pumpkins. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, this is all. Is this all Dimby? I think this is. That's Dimby. I just bought yeah. that set, but it had the. Uh, oh, the little. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's so cute. Oh, they are um, placeholders. The placeholders. Yeah. Cars. I, I just want them. I love. I, I, yeah. I think oh, it, oh, oh. Look at this. This is old. I like that too. Oh, look. Look here. Blue Mountain Pottery. The mushroom is good. You should ask. How much is your mushroom? Six. Hi, welcome back to my channel, Miss Damn Jewelry. I'm Dolores, and I hope you enjoyed the shop with me. That was at the Errol Sunday Market. I went with Chris to the Scottish Magpie. She's so lovely. And before we get into it, she brought me a couple of gifts. Now, I didn't open the gifts up till later. I didn't want to open them right there. So I, I got them in the car and then we went shopping. So when I got, so all day long we were chit-chatting and talking and getting to know each other and everything. And she got me this, which is cute as can be. It's a cat dish. It's got little kitty cats on it. How cute is that? And it's, made in italy so the cats will be drinking out of some vintage uh ceramic italian pottery they'll be fancy cats so the let me just say christy is psychic and here's why <laughs> because all day long we were talking remember i hadn't opened any of these the, the, the two items she had given me and i was like girl if you ever come across a glass pumpkin can you like get it for me and I'll pay you for it? Cause I really want a glass pumpkin in my like autumn display. I really want one. She's like, okay, oh, okay, okay. And so I, I was like, okay, you know, so we go on and we get, I get, you know, we go shopping for the day. I get home. I was like, oh, let me look at what she got me. So I unwrapped them and I got the cat dish, which was lovely. Oh my God, my cats are gonna love this little ceramic cat dish. But she also got me this which is a what? A glass pumpkin. I was like, I opened it up. I was like, oh, she's psychic. Oh, I maybe have mentioned it on my channel. Unclear. But she got me this beautiful glass pumpkin. I mean, what a lovely gift. And it's clear on the bottom. But look at that. Now I have a glass pumpkin for my autumn display. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chrissy. You psychic woman, you. Right. So as you saw, we went to a lot of different places. The first place we went to was um, this guy named Clark. Clark Cooper. He's got, so this is a side gig because what he actually does is he makes lamps out of old whiskey bottles. Now, I will put his uh, Instagram across here and his website across here real quick so you can see and I will put a uh, link to his website in the description of this video so you can check out the lamps he makes. But this is selling at the car boot or the Sunday market is a side gig. I'm gonna go see so, some things I know I got from Clark. Obviously, in other videos, there may be other things I got from Clark. So, sorry, Clark, I didn't put it all in one bit. So I'm just gonna go through some of the stuff I got from the market because I think I got quite a bit of stuff, so it might be two videos. So here is, let's get started. So I know I got these from Clark, and these are like two brass candlestick holders. I think so cute. And the great thing is they're made in England. Uh, I've only found a few of the brass candlesticks or any brass items made in England. So I was quite happy about that. They need to be a little bit cleaned up, but I'm not mad about it. Look at those. So the next thing I got from Clark was this. I love this. It was like this little wall hanging. It's like a little apple tree. I just thought it was so cute. It's really rustic. That's the back. And I got that. Oh, the tag just fell out. I got that. So I thought that was cute. And then, oh, what else did I get from Clark? Oh, I got this from Clark, so I thought it was funny. It's this little tiny cheese grater. <laughs> what for what? A mystery box. So I thought that was cute. This is another thing for a mystery box. It's like this little cloth covered Burns poems. So it's poems by uh, Mr. Burns. <laughs> what was his first name? Oh God, I can't remember. Robert Burns, okay. So it's just this cute uh, cloth covered little it's like a little book of poems by Robert Burns, which is, it's like in Tartan, which is really cute. Again, another item for a mystery box. I just loved it. I thought it was cute. And then I got this little book from Clark. It's called Proud Heritage, Portness, Portrait of Greatness. 
and I can't remember who it's about. Who's it about? Let's look. So it's just different peoples in Britain. Look at that. The colored photos. Who's that? John Bunyan. I mean, this is really cute. Again, it was part of the uh, little bundle I got from Clark. And this, see, I'm, I'm going through the things I know I got from Clark. So I got this little, I thought this was cool. And it's really old and it's like trivet. So it's got this flower. I got to clean it up. Flower tile with this wood. And the wood is just so worn. And I got to, again, clean that wood up. But I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to try to, I'm, I just like the rustic look. There's no maker's mark on it. Again, she's a bit, she's a bit worse for wear. But I thought it was cute. I just thought it was a really good piece. It's like I said, it's like a trivet. You can set stuff on it. And I just loved it. So I got that from Clark. Those right there were a few of the things I got from Clark. Now, that was the outside part. There's a, so it's, it's massive. It's, it's in, it's a massive, you've got, it's all on a hard standing surface. So it's on like an old airfield. So what you're walking on is kind of like tarmac. It's not like dirt or mud or grass. So we walked along and there was so, so much, I mean, so much to see y'all. I was freaking out. It was such a good day. Um, so you, we went outside and went to a different bunch of different traders. And then we went inside and there was some more traders. So it's like in this big hangar. And um, so I... And I know some of the stuff I bought is not on this table. So, but we did. So, and then you go from there and then there's like an antique place, like an antique bit. So it was just massive. So I got a couple of things. Let's see, it's not all here. So I got this. I love an, uh, a marmalade jar with its original spoon. Stop, stop. So I think I got this out in the hanger bit. So I got that. And I think this was a pound. I got that. And then, <clears throat> where else did we go? Oh, then and I got these little salt and pepper shakers. There's like a little wear on the box. They're mini Struer, or they're German. Mini Struer set. Made in Germany. Yeah. So I got both of these. And they're like little salt and pepper shakers. Still in the boxes. And those were a pound a piece. And then I got... I got brooches, y'all. And the people I got brooches from, I got something else from too, but I don't have it. I, this is going to be a couple of videos. I know. <laughs> I'm a mess. So I got some brooches from the same people I got some other things from. So I got this brooch here, which has a C clasp. Look at that. And these were all a pound 50 each. It's got the clasp. It's a C clasp. So I got that. I've got this lovely piece here, which is very autumnal. I got that, and this is a rollover clasp. And then I got, of course, she got a jaguar. And, oh, it's leopard. A leopard. And then I got this pretty piece here, because you know she can't get enough brooches, and it's got the C clasp on it. This piece here, which is very colorful. I do like that. With gold tone metal. Again, the rollover clasp on the back. And this, I got, oh, this is really pretty too. This purple one with gold tone metal. And then from another stall, I got this. And see, I think she put, uh, uh, Chrissy pronounced it Cairo. But I thought it was Ciro. But it's C-I-R-O, it's signed on the back. I got these. So this was a pound. The all other, this was from a different stall. All the others were a pound 50. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little signature right there. So I got that. So those were the brooches I got. Same people. I got this. It is like, it's bizarre. I've had one of these before and I've sold them for pretty good money. And it's, it was six pound for this. And it's like, it's very heavy. It's almost like cement with an enamel on it. So I got there. And this is made in the USSR. That's what it says on the sticker. So I got this for six pounds. I will be reselling this. I just love it. It's just so, but she's heavy. It's a heavy, heavy piece. So I think it's like a, is it cement? Or it feels like cement. It's heavy. It's some kind of really heavy pottery 
and this is like I've and I remember I can't remember what it said when I had the other one, but this is like an enamel. It's all enameled. But isn't that pretty? So I got that, and then we went to this other place. This other guy. Oh no! I, I, okay, so I got this somewhere, <laughs> somewhere with, amongst the antique shop market. I got this bad boy, and I believe it was. Um, I can't remember how much it was. I want to say it was either three or four. It wasn't that much. That's what surprised me. Now, on the stopper, which is inside, there's just a little bitty chip there on the inside of the stopper, on the end of the stopper. But look at that color. I mean, I don't even care about that. Look how pretty that rainbow glass is. Oh, just stunning. Just a stunning bottle with, I mean, beautimus. I loved it. So I got that. So I said this was either, I'm going to say four. Let's say four. I'd go on the higher end. So this was probably four. <laughs> the Lucite Jam Jar. Yes, we found another Lucite Jam Jar. It is a strawberry jam jar with a spoon. I think we paid, I paid two for this. It's, it's taped. I'm not, I'm, I'm not even going to tape it. But it's got its original spoon. There is a slight little, well, it's just dirt. That's either a little scratch or a little bit of dirt there. But it doesn't take away from the beautiful Lucite jam jar. Strawberry preserves can go in here. So I like this. So this was two pound. Then I got, this was my favorite. Doesn't, I love this. It's cobalt blue. A cobalt blue uh, sugar dish with a handle. The handle doesn't go down. It stays up. But it had this lid which I love I don't even know if a lid goes with it because it doesn't really match but it was it fits it perfectly and it has the lucite knob on it with a little flower motif in it I will add a spoon because it doesn't have the spoon but how pretty is this and I love anything with the lucite tops on it the little lids the little knobs oh it has no maker's mark okay I was just looking <sighs> and that's my haul y'all this is how I felt after I went shopping. I mean, it was such a good day. Like I said, I will have to do another haul of all the things I got from the market because we'd have been here all the live long day. This is already 17 minutes and you already have shop with me. So, <laughs> so that is all for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to go into the description of this video and go check out uh, Clark's Lamporium, his website and his Instagram. And I will see you soon. You guys take care. Bye.